What's up guys? In today's video we're gonna change this dark dungeon of a garage to this pretty well lit workspace for $46. What's up everyone? Welcome back for another video. If you're a subscriber already, you know that this is the new garage that needs a lot of work. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button so you can follow along with this build. So the garage isn't the only thing we're, we're building. We do have a new Wrangler TJ that we're building up. Um, you guys are sitting on a Mercedes-Benz 190E that I have to start working on again because I've been lazy there. And I also have a Chevy Colorado that I actually have a video to film, I guess, directly after this. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of that. So yes, this garage is a mess right now. We are waiting on garage cabinets, which should be the next um, step to this process of fixing up the garage to make it like a dream garage type thing. So waiting on that so we can start cleaning up all this stuff because I got no place to put most of this stuff. I mean, other than the deep freezer over there that's obviously not going in a cabinet. But anyway, let's show you the lighting situation and we'll work from there. So this is what it looks like right now. This is with the lights on. You can see it's very dark in that section. Probably not gonna fix that section today. We're gonna focus more on this area because this is where I've been doing most of the car work for right now. But there's one light bulb, one like multi LED guy and that one and that's it. And obviously that is not gonna cut it to light up this garage. Let me show you what we got. So this is the Barina LED T5 integrated fixture. I bought these off Amazon, this was $46. So um, it, come, it comes in a six pack, these are four feet long. And you get that and you get a bunch of wiring. So I will leave a link down below of these Amazon lights if you consider purchasing these lights after you watch this video. Um, use that link, helps me out. Helps me continue to do things like this. So um, I will also probably link other random stuff that I use to install this to get this going. But um, let me show you one thing. Let me show you some of the plan. So I got you in the corner of like the entry. So it's a little brighter in here because it's daytime and there's light coming through the garage door. So that's helping. But other than that, it's pretty dim in here. Um, I'm going to plan on putting all six on this side. Uh, hold on one second. So this company makes a two foot, a three foot and a four foot LED light section. These are the four foot, like I said earlier. So if you're um, doing four foot, they don't want you to connect more than eight to each other, which is perfect because there's only six here. Another thing um, which would luck out is there's that light that's like right up here. There's that one in the middle and then one over there. So technically I could have eight, 16, 24 lights in here if I really wanted to. But the plan is I'm thinking of putting them at an angle to almost make like kind of like a little arrow just to make it not straight. I feel like that might give it a little more pizzazz. Um, I gotta see the mounting situation, how much slack we have in the wires. Last thing, I'm, then I'm gonna shut up and actually do the work here, is I was planning on getting the little hex grid lights for the ceiling. Um, this is just an in-between. It was $46 just to see if it works out. I could order another set and then you're only in 90 bucks to light the whole thing. Hopefully it's bright enough. Um, and then when we finally get the ceiling insulated and drywalled, then we could do the hex pattern because it's pretty expensive. They're like $900 to do the hex pattern. And I think that's only for a two car garage section. Not even full two car, it's like nine feet by 16 feet or something like that. But whatever, let's start working on here. <laughs> expecting it to take the screws that come with it strip out a little easy but um, it's not holding up much weight so this is the design we're going with that's the design we're going with I measured off that piece for both mounts so it should be straight just got to duplicate it on the other side now really warm in here okay so I got the 
six of them up. One, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, these measurements came off of this for everything, so they might look a little funky just looking at them right now, but I assure you the measurements are all the same. Now what I gotta do is connect that one over to that one to make it a full loop. Then when that's done, we connect that one right into this light and we're done. Uh, so this is where you gotta do a little bit of electrical work. Um, I'm sure you could probably order a longer one of these, but these are the um, things they give you to link them together, to daisy chain them. Obviously this isn't long enough, so I'm probably gonna use this. I mean, I do have other wiring. I do have a spool of wiring for the car. Not sure if I'm gonna use it. Let me see how long this turns out to be, because if this will reach from there to there, by cutting this up, we're just gonna use this. So this is what I ended up with. This was one end of that piece, butt connectors, and then we got the rest of this wire. I didn't actually measure, I just eyeballed it, so um, I do have some zip ties to make it all neat. If you really want to, you can cut this piece out, but it's just gonna be up in the rafters up there. We're just gonna click it on and then never touch it again. Um, and for those of you who worry, this is perfectly safe. I'm gonna throw some tape over the black wire, which is your power wire normally, and then it'll be completely isolated from everything, so don't be too concerned with this. Then, this is another thing I'm gonna add with the Amazon links down below, so this is a electrical connection kit. Comes with a bunch of stuff. I should probably order another one because I'm running low on some stuff. And then some crimpers, wire crimpers. Gonna need those, and I guess some electrical tape. Let me just go back for one second. <clears throat> this, this is perfectly safe as long as you don't have any wire showing. So. Obviously, don't want any wire poking out. And if you did, then you could tape it. This doesn't even need tape, but I'm just gonna tape it anyway. All right, got lucky with that one. Let me zoom you out a little bit. Uh, this is how you're looking. Straight across, just reached. Now, last but not least, we gotta connect that one to that light. So I'm gonna go flip the breaker off so there's no power going to it. Then we're gonna dismantle that, figure out if we need to extend the wire that they gave us, because this, now that I'm looking at it, I don't know, I must have looked at a different wire. Um, I thought it was longer than this. Kind of messed up on that one. So hopefully it reaches. If not, we'll just extend this one. It is pretty warm in here. All right, so breaker's back on. Moment of truth, let's go check this out together. Maybe I'll put you over here. So I'll turn these on. Wow. That's a lot better. Not bad. I like it. I guess we'll leave them on. 100% better. Now, um, let me, well, I guess just look. Look how much brighter that is. I can actually see what I'm doing in here now. Now with these lights, like I was saying earlier, they um, recommend no more. Well, I don't know if they recommend or they tell you no more than eight in these four foot sections. So I'm actually thinking, I could order two more sets of this and figure something out. So if I order two more sets of this, um, I could take two more lights. I could order, I could get two more lights to extend that because if we look here, um, there's all this dead space here with no light. So one more light on each end of this would be nice. So that would make eight on here. Then I could do the same thing over there, which would be over this car, which would brighten that up a lot and put another eight there. Then I would have two more left. If I do um, add two here, do the same thing here with eight, and then I would just have two left that I could put in random spots. Maybe I could even put it underneath this shelf under here to put more light here, and it would look pretty damn, it will be pretty damn bright in here. 
So like I was explaining earlier, I'm gonna leave these, I'm gonna leave a link to these down below with the Amazon link. I'm gonna leave a link to this, this connection, this wire connection kit, which is just good to have in general, especially if you work on cars and stuff like that. Something like this is pretty good to have. Wire strippers slash crimpers I'm gonna leave down there, and I'm even gonna leave some wire nuts down there so you can make your connection to your original electrical box, which should already have those wire nuts on there, but I'm gonna leave those down below anyway. Planning on buying any of this stuff, please use the link down below. Helps out the channel. You're awesome. So I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I was a little skeptical about these for them being only $46. Didn't think they were gonna be that bright. I didn't even test it before I put them up because anything would be better than, than what was here already. And I'm pleasantly surprised. So for $46, pretty good upgrade. A Little bit of sweat and time. You can actually see what you're doing in your little shop here. Now the only thing, my only criticism about these lights are that uh, the color temperature is not the greatest, well, at least for myself. It's a little too cold. I would prefer, I would prefer if it was a little bit warmer colored lights, but it is a garage. It is really just for like working on projects for around the house, not really like sitting in here to relax, well, at least in my garage. So um, I'll probably get used to it. The lights that were in here were very warm. They were just a regular incandescent light bulb. So that helps with the warmness. Um, these, I'll get used to them, but that's my only criticism so far. Well, I guess the other thing would be that the wire connection guys that they give you aren't long enough. If they were longer, you could even get this more aggressive of angles, but I feel like this angle actually worked out pretty good. It doesn't look plain, just straight on each end. It doesn't look like it's just straight lights hung up. It has a little bit of a design and I feel like it'll hold me over for a little while. This is step one of making the garage my own, I guess you would say. Like I said, this was just a, this is just kind of a temporary fix for right now until we figure out what we're really doing with the ceiling. All right, there was just a lizard in the house. I had to take care of that. I forgot what I was talking about. Completely lost my train of thought. I don't even know what I was talking about. So these lights, uh, this was phase one of making the garage my own until we figure out what we're gonna do with the ceiling because I keep saying I wanna get this thing insulated and covered up. Maybe we could even put in some sort of a ductless air conditioner at some point just to cool it down because it's uh, 81 today and I'm dying in here, but also the doors are closed, so that's not helping. There's no breeze going back and forth, so. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna shut up now. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want these lights, go use that link down below once again. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out of any of the any more of the garage content. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with the floor yet. The and the cabinets are coming, I think, next week. Don't miss out on that. Hit that like button. Leave some comments down below if you have any other ideas. Maybe even like another pattern or something I could do with these if I order another set. Because I might go order another set right now. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out and light up your life. <laughs>